Try it now. OK, Wendy. Of course you can, but we should let one of the others have a turn first. Hey, Mott, do you want to have a zoom through the new automatic barrier? Oh, yes, please, Bob. Hang on, Muck. If you're here, then who's... Who's what, Scoop? Uh, uh... Nothing. Doesn't matter. See you in a minute. Oh, Scoop, what have you done? Oh, dear, what have I done? What a mess. What are we going to do now, Bob? About the leak or the paving slabs? Well, one thing's for sure. We're never going to finish the driveway in time for the grand opening. I'm so sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I, I should have told you about the leak. Yes, you should have. But don't worry, Scoop. We'll think of something. But the paving slabs are all broken. They're like puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces? Scoop, you've given me an idea. Oh, are we going to go home and do a puzzle, Bob? No, Muck. We're going to lay down some seriously crazy paving. Ready, team? Let's go! Quiet, please. Quiet, everyone, as we unveil this statue of, uh, uh, oh, one of our town's greatest heroes. Ready, Bob? Ready. Go for it, Lofty. What is that? Oh, uh... Dear me, I must have sent the wrong picture. That appears to be uh, me on my last vacation. No, Safi, wait! This is pouring in cement. That's what's going to hold the support beams in place, making the treehouse strong and sturdy. The cement has to dry before you can use the treehouse. OK? Sure. I can wait. There! Now the rocks are ready. Um, Scoop, you should have put the big rocks at the bottom. Why? What's going to happen? Uh, that. That's what's going to happen. Uh, can you help me clean them up? Sorry, Scoop. It's not on Wendy's schedule. We'll have to deal with them later. Come on, let's go. Enough waiting. I need to finish the tree house. All done, Wendy. Poor to perfection. Thanks, Dizzy. So, what's next on the schedule? Can you wait with Muck and Lofty until the cement sets, and then we can check that the job is finished? Sure thing. How's it going, Hero Wendy? Well, I had to paint the floor panel twice, unstick myself from the wall, and then reseal the window. Some hero I am. Help! What was that? Oh, no! Sappy! Why were you up there, Sappy? The treehouse isn't ready yet. I guess I didn't wait long enough for the cement to dry. <gasps> the trophy! It's still up there! What have I done? Don't worry, Safi. I'll get it. Wendy, it's too dangerous. Oh, my 
can't reach it. Oh, it's too far down. Oh. I'll lower you. Bob, get me out of here. for things to set properly. Now we don't have a clubhouse. We've still got time to fix it. Right, Wendy? Ready to start filling the pool? Where do you want this last rock, Bob? Uh, over there, I think, Lofty. I can't wait for the pool to be finished and see those penguins splashing around in it. Not so fast, Lofty. <laughs> Steady now. Oh, watch out! Oh. I'm sorry, Bob. I was just so excited about seeing the penguins. Uh, there's a nasty crack in the glass. We can't fill the pool with water till we get that fixed. It'll need a new window. I just hope we have time before the penguins arrive. Good afternoon, Miss Wendy. Bob, where would you like these penguins? <laughs> Good question, Tutun. I'm afraid the pool isn't quite ready. Oh, dear. They're getting rather noisy back there. They shouldn't really stay in that crate much longer, Bob. Wow! What happened here? It was an accident. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Lofty. But we're going to need to find somewhere to keep those penguins happy while we're fixing the glass. Um, Bob? What is it, Lofty? I think I know where we can keep the penguins. Somewhere they'll be safe and happy. What about the new fountain at the town hall? The one Leo's been working on. Oh, yes, it's perfect. Mayor Madison is out all day, and you'll be finished here before she gets back. What do you say, Bob? I say, well done, Lofty. Let's go for it. Follow us, Tutan. Don't worry, penguins. You'll soon be splashing around without a care in the world. Okay, Wendy, Lofty, let's get fixing. Yes, Fixum Castle is a very fine example of medieval architecture. It's our oldest and most historic monument. Uh, do you have any ancient buildings in Riverdale, Mayor Snipe? Ancient buildings? I can't bear ancient buildings. A crumbling pile of old stones, if you ask me. Oh. Oh, well, yes, you have a point there, I suppose. Uh, but Spring City has some fabulous new buildings. And that's exactly what we want to show you next. Faster than I've ever been before! Faster than I've ever been before! Okay, team. We've still got lots of parts that aren't bent. And the monkey bars are okay. But without Scoop, we'll have to do all the digging ourselves. Hmm. The old-fashioned way. Oh, no. So, let's build what we can as fast as we can. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! There, all finished. Whew, we did it. Just in time. Hi, Bob. The exercise trail looks fantastic. All ready to go? Certainly is, Sky. Ah, oh, so far. Do you guys want to join me? Uh, no, it's okay, Sky. I think we've done enough puffing and panting for one day. Okay. See ya. Uh, 
Time for a peaceful cup of tea and a sit-down, I think. I'm really happy I got the new supplies in record time, Bob. But I still wish I'd managed to do a bucket stand. Well, you might do it one day, Scoop. But usually, if you're going to do something new, it takes a bit of practice. That's it! Of course! Practice! Come on, team. Let's get packed up. Carefully, Scoop. Right oh, Bob. Oh, I think that was a better one. <laughs> practice makes perfect. I think Scoop's perfect. Might take quite a lot of practice. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yes! Bob, huh? where's Leo? Look! Look! Ta-da! I don't believe it. Hey, cool! Wow, that's amazing, Scoop. I've never, ever seen a machine do that before. And now, I'll do a forward roll, just like Safi does. I really don't think that's a good idea, Scoop. Oh. Oh, dear. This thing is so fiddly. I think this one goes up here. Oh, dear. No, it can't be right. Maybe this one. Ugh. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. Oh, this large one must be part of the uh, leg. So it must go here. Uh, oh, doesn't seem to fit. Oh, uh, what about this small one, then? It's part of the tail, isn't it? Uh, uh, or maybe the left foot? No? Oh, dear. What on earth? What happened? Sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I was just trying to help. No, Lofty. I'm the guilty party, I'm afraid, Bob. I got this fellow's height and width all mixed up. We couldn't get the skeleton through the doors. So we took it apart. And now we can't remember how to put it back together again. I'm sure we can fix it. Can't we? Oh, dear. It's like a big puzzle, isn't it? If only we had a picture of what it looked like before you took it all apart. Wait! We do! We do what? We do have a picture. Leo took some photos on his phone. That's right, I did. Oh, that's where that piece goes. Oh, yes, splendid, splendid. Now, we've got no time to lose. Let's get this figured out before the mayor arrives. Now I can relax and maybe even get to eat my lunch in peace. No, wait. What? There's one bone missing. But there can't be. It's impossible. Where can it have gone? <laughs> Cooper! <laughs> now what? Cooper? That's a good boy. Give me the bone. Come on, Cooper. Good doggy. Let us have the bone, please. <laughs> oh, dear me. Mayor Madison will be here any second. Ah, if only we had something tasty we could offer Cooper instead of that bone. What, like a tasty scrumptious sandwich? But, but that's my lunch. Well, I think I can hear the mayor coming along now. Couldn't we just... It, well, um... Oh, all right. Here you are. Here, Cooper. Yummy sandwich. Come on, boy. Poor Tread. I hope he's all right. Wendy says he's very cold and very stuck, not hurt. Oh, well, that's good. With your track stretch, you should be able to get across the snow and dig him out. Oh, I'll do my best, Bob. Oh, Wendy, I was so lucky. 
The avalanche missed me and it would have missed Tread too if I hadn't made him stay put to watch me do a slide. It was an accident, Scoop. You mustn't blame yourself. What matters now is that we all work together quickly and calmly to rescue Tread. I'll do anything I can to help. Yes, I know you will, Scoop. Is there a problem, Stretch? Can't you dig Tread out? Yeah, I can dig him out easily enough, but I can't actually get him back out onto the road. Stretch can clear away the snow, but without snow chains, Tread's wheels will just spin when he tries to drive out. Guys, it's really cold in here. Mm. It's a good thing I'm not going anywhere today. There must be some way to get him out. Oh, Bob, I know, I know. Tread's got a cable. Can't I use that to pull him out? Yes, that's a good idea, Scoop. But you can't go in the snow because you haven't got snow chains either, remember? Oh, yeah. Ah, but Tread's not that far from the car park, is he? Actually, you're right. If we finish that path across there, you could get quite close to Tread and still be on a hard surface. That's good thinking, Scoop. Yes, it is. It's a great idea. So, team. Can we save Tread? Yes, we can! Quick as you can, though. Done, team. Thanks, everyone. Snow's not always as much fun as it looks, is it? You can say that again. Scoop, is something the matter? Well, it's just that I'm not top snow clearer after all. Because Stretch is. Because he can go anywhere in the snow. I'm not king of the road either. Because Tread does cool tricks that I can't do. Well, I think you're a top rescuer. Am I? You thought of a way to get Tread out of the snow, didn't you? Oh, yeah, so I did. Top rescuer! <laughs> if that avalanche hadn't happened, I bet I could have done a brilliant spin, just like Tread. Oh. Probably better. All right, whatever you say, Scoop. I would have done a 360. <laughs> Africa digger, Alakazala. Um, come on. Hmm. Make the balls change their colour. Ta-da! Pink, white, yellow, orange. Whoa! Wow. Uh, that actually is quite a good trick, Scoop. Oh, yes. It's awesome. Do it again, Scoop. Yeah, go on, Scoop. Do it again. Um, okay then. Africa Digger, Alec. Whoa, whoa, not so fast. Slow down. Slow down. Whoa! Oh, Stop! No. Stop! No, 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 no! Oh, oh. Whoa! Those don't! Mm -hmm. Stop! Stop! Africa, stop! Africa, stop! Yeah. Oh, Scoop! What have you done? Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, I was just trying to wow Muck and Lofty with a magic trick. Magic tricks take a lot of practice, Scoop, and preferably not using building materials or lunch. Oh, this is a disaster. You'll never finish before tonight's audience arrives. If we work hard, I think we can build it in time. So, team, let's get to work.
It's already Chef Taddy, but I'm afraid we can't fix the conveyor belt without ordering new parts. But how am I going to move the food around to my diners? Uh, Chef Tatty, I think I could help. Great work, Scoop. You make a marvelous waiter. Nearly as good as my conveyor belt. Thanks, Chef Tatty. What is the matter, Scoop? I'm glad I can help Chef Tatty, but I didn't get to wow my friends with a magic trick like you did. I see. A budding magician, are you? Tiny, can you send the loading cage down again, please? We've got an extra heavy load to send up for Bob. Coming right down. One extra heavy load coming up. What are you doing, Scoop? I'm going to see everything in Spring City. Um, I really don't think that's a good idea. Don't you worry about me, Lofty. I'll keep my wheels inside the car at all times. Extra heavy load for the top floor, Tiny. Time for some more tower power. <laughs> is higher than I thought. Can you see all of Spring City, Scoop? Yes, all of it, Mark. Ooh, what does it look like? A long way down. I don't think he likes it as much as he thought he would. Okay, now we've just got to install the elevator car and the... That sounds like Scoop. Oh, no. What's he doing up there? Wishing he was down here by the sound of things. Whoa. 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 Stay in the middle, Scoop. It'll help you balance. Whoa. Whoa. Tiny, you need to lower the cage. Scoop's on board. Okay, Bob. Going down. Oh, oh my. Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh, no. Where did he go? Scoop, are you all right? Oh, no. I'm balancing. But I'm not good at balancing. What are we going to do? I've got an idea. Tiny, lower the cage down to me. Wendy, we're going to need the welding equipment. OK, Bob. I'll get the welding masks. Okay, Tiny. Take me up. Nearly there. Take it in steady. Slow down and stop. Perfect. Finished. Hmm. It's not as high as I imagined. I think we should make it taller. Then it will be super impressive. We shouldn't build it too high, Scoop. It's a mountain. It has to be high. But what if that's not what Bob wants? A big, fierce bear needs a big, tall mountain to be happy. Come on. Just a tiny bit bigger. Well, OK. If it'll make the bear happy and not quite so fierce. Lofty? So long as it's only a tiny bit bigger. Yay! Let's do it! What? We're not ready! Bob? Bob! What's wrong, Jenny? It's the bear! Oh, no. Don't say it isn't coming. Oh, it's coming, all right. But it isn't arriving next week. It's arriving today! Oh, what are we going to do? No, no, it's still not big enough. 
Aren't those rocks supposed to go around the pool? We just need a few more. Uh, the mountain looks quite high to me, Scoop. Real mountains are a hundred times bigger, and we need to make this as real as possible. You wouldn't want the bear to be sad, would you, Lofty? Uh, no, of course not. Then let's build it bigger. I suppose a bit more won't hurt. One more rock. One more bucket bowl. Don't worry, Jenny. We're way ahead of schedule. We'll finish the enclosure in time. Hi, Bob. We brought a few more trees than I planned. Somebody couldn't choose between one tree and another. So we took both. And we got blackberry and blueberry bushes, too. Good choices. Bears love berries. We'll be done soon, Jenny. I'm looking forward to seeing it. One more rocks. One more pallet. Just one more tiny bucket full. Stop! The mountain can't take anymore. It's going to collapse! Come on, partner! Let's head him off at the pass! Hey? Well, not you too, Bob. You're talking nonsense like Leo. Sorry, Scoop. Just head for that gap in the fence. Bob, how am I meant to keep up with racehorses? Especially extra fast, extra difficult to catch ones. We're not going to race them. We're going to use our own talents. Remember, they're also extra nervous and scared of machine noise. Oh, yeah. Hold up, Scoop. Wait for my signal. Now, let's go. Good work, partner. That was extra noisy and extra brilliant. You know, Bob, I think I might be a thoroughbred machine. Here they come. Ready, Leo? This is your chance to be a real cowboy and round up those horses. I... And they're in top gear. Don't worry, I grew up with horses. Here's what we're going to do. Lofty, extend your crane arm as far as you can and as fast as you can. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. <gasps> it's not fast enough. It's not going to reach in time. I didn't know you grew up with horses, Wendy. Oh, yes, I rode them all the time. Wooden ones on the merry-go-round. What? <gasps> well, Bob, that was smart work getting my horses back. I hope you've got another good idea about how to get them into these stables before dark. There's nothing to it but hard work and starting over. We'll get them rebuilt, even if it takes all night. Oh, Muck. I've let everybody down. The stables would be finished by now if I hadn't scared the horses. A real cowboy would never do that. If only there was something I could do to make up for it. Right, here's the plan. Wendy and Lofty will stay on site with me to rebuild the stables. Leo, you can take Scoop and Muck back to their garages. At least some of us can get a good night's sleep. Even if the horses don't. All that galloping and now nowhere for them to sleep. Oh, they'll be too tired to even walk around the track tomorrow. Nowhere for them to sleep? Hang on, Bob. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, but they didn't have our props. Ah, but what was inside the muck? Uh, let's see. Mm, Mr. Bentley had statues, but he wanted sofas. 
Anish had huh. soccer balls and sporty stuff, but he wanted statues. Well, we've got Mr. Bentley's sofas. That's right, Leo. So where would all the sporty stuff need to go? The, the sports, sports stadium. stadium. Oh, Betsy and the Spring City Rockets were going to the sports stadium. Safi said something about a big surprise. That could be it. A surprise container of sports equipment. Come on, Muck. Let's go and find out. Well, this is a surprise, Tutan. Just not quite the one I was expecting. No, that shouldn't have happened. Oh, hi, guys. Hi, Sky. You probably guessed there's been a big mix up. Your sports equipment is at the museum. How did I make such a mistake, Bob? It's my fault, Tutan. I picked out the wrong container at Roland's. So, now we know where everything's meant to be. These movie props go to the film studio, the furniture to the town hall, the statues to the museum, and the sports equipment comes here. Got it, Bob. Now let's pack up that shark and get rolling. Bob. Tell me it's ready! Yes, Dash, it's all ready. We're waiting for you to try it out first. And let's roll! Wendy, you can sit right here. <laughs> hey, Bob, come on! This carriage has my face on it! That's super! I'm so excited, I can't wait to see what I've done! Everyone ready? Someone press a button! Let's go! Zoom! Boom! Lightning strikes twice! Wow! This is from Cretaceous Park! Mega Dino Attack! <laughs> Woohoo! And that's my space robot and rocket from Space Robots 3! I recognize this! It's from Shark Tooth, The Return of Bruce! Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, he's here with me. Uh, could you ask him to get to the sushi bar as soon as he can? Or my fish could go bad and be ruined. I'll tell him right away, Chef. Bye. Yeah, uh, okay, great, Bob. Bye, I gotta roll. No, wait, Tread, come back. Oh. Chef Taddy's waiting for you at the sushi bar. He said something about some fish going bad. I know, I know, the fish. Gotta go, Bob. Oh. Ah, Tread! There you are! Sorry I'm late, Chef Teddy. No worries. Well, actually, I was starting to get a wee bit worried about my fish. Hmm, it doesn't smell bad. In fact, it doesn't smell at all. Huh? What are these? What's wrong now? Tiles? Oh, dear. If you've got the tiles, then what has Bob got? Huh? Uh-oh. Hello? Have you got a box there with my fish in it, Bob? No, I've just opened it and I appear to have a control panel. So who's got my fish? Oh, no. <sighs> huh? Hmm. Hello? staring at a fish? What on earth is going on? So, Bob, you've got the control panel, and Chef Teddy has the tiles. And Wendy has the fish, which will be spoiled soon if it isn't refrigerated. And someone still needs to pick up Leo and the cupboard and drop them off at the sushi bar. I'm sorry, Bob. I should have told you. I was getting too busy. It's not your fault, Tread. Wendy and I should have picked up the right boxes. Well, I still tried to do too much, and I wouldn't let anyone help. 
Oh, I suppose I'll just have to cancel the festival. If only I let Muck and Scoop help. They kept asking. Wait a minute. Maybe they still could. If they're not too busy. Good idea, Tread. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Shoppers will have to walk all the way around the outside to get to each shop. I don't think they'll like that. They won't mind. They'll just love that it looks so cool. Oh, and I've just had an even cooler idea. Lofty, pick up the red container. Pick up the red container what? Pick up the red container, please, my wonderful assistant. That's better. If they can't hear us, We'll have to force open the door. On three, everyone. One, two, three. Wait! Why? I just had another brilliant idea. Put the red container down exactly where it was. Please. Oh. 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 What is happening? Uh, Lofty must be lifting the containers. Why on earth is he doing that? This is a brilliant idea. But I can't see how anyone will be able to do their shopping in that. Hang on. I just had an even better idea. We'll build a skyscraper. Eh, what? Oh, dear. The door's still blocked. We're stuck. Stuck like sardines in a tin. So, it's a good thing we brought a tin opener. That's it. Awesome, Wendy. We can go out of the window. What do you mean? There is no window. Not yet, there isn't. That's it, Lofty. That looks fantastic. Oh, that's unusual. What do you think, Tutu? I think it looks very dangerous. Bob's gonna love it. Where is Bob? And Wendy? Huh? Oh, no! Whoa! Uh... Hello, you lot. Bob! Awesome! Better watch these sharp edges. Ah. <clears throat> ah. Were you in there the whole time? Oh, never mind. Come and tell me what you think of my amazing pop-up shop design. Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay, Muck. Lift the portcullis as high as you can. Ooh. Oh, it's heavy. Now, don't drop it until I say now. Now? Sorry, Bob. Good luck, Shit. Bob. Watch out for that ghost. Uh, who's there? Go? Is that you? Hello. Your Majesty. Bob? Oh, my hero. Oh. oh. You look like you've seen a ghost. I didn't startle you with my fabulous vocal warm-ups, did I? Ooh. Of course not. <laughs> my foot's stuck. Right. There. 
And there you go, Prince fix a -Lot. Um, thanks a lot. Well done, team! Thanks, <laughs> Bob! The castle is ready for the festival. Oh, that reminds me. I'd better go and pick up the special costume Mayor Madison ordered for me. I wonder what I'll be dressed as. A noble king? A knight in shining armor, perhaps? Oh, gather all ye gentle folk of ye old Fixum town. Come hither through these castle gates and bow down to your crown. All hail Queen Madison. For your courageous rescue efforts and restoring my castle to its grandeur, I hereby knight you, Bob the Brave, and commend your tremendous team and valiant vehicles. Yeah! Um, hello? Uh, could someone help me with my hat? <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, Scoop, but you're not competing. Oh, but I want to break a world record, just like Sky. I'm sorry, Scoop, but the fitness trail is only built for people. Speaking of which, could you two give me a hand with the swing bridge, please? We'll need to tie the ropes with strong knots. It's not fair. Everyone else gets to have fun in the fun run. Unless... Uh-oh. Oh, I've just had an awesome idea! Yay! Whenever you say that, something not awesome happens. Not this time, Lofty. Guess what? We're going to have our own super fun spotting event! Diggers, scuffers, and cranes, welcome to... The Muscle Machine Games! Yay! Yay! He's tall, strong, and blue. He'll lift you up and carry you away. Please welcome Lofty! Go Lofty! Give it up for the big red dump truck with the big red heart! Look! That's me! And finally, he's the digger with the athlete's figure, Scoop! <laughs> <laughs> Go Scoop! Thanks, Dizzy! And good luck, everyone! Especially me! As it's the first muscle machine games ever, Every event will score a world record! Yes! I can't fail! Round one, weightlifting! Ready, set, lift! Oh! And the winner is... Wow. I've never won anything before. Well done, Lofty. That's a new world record. How did you do it? Well, simple, really. Powered by hydraulics, I extended my arm upwards to achieve a superior height to my competitors. Round two. with my eyes closed. Maybe you should have tried it with your eyes open. Oh! 